Hello and welcome to the in-depth series of Drishti IAS. My name is Pooja Devedi. Today we are going to discuss tuberculosis as we are observing World Tuberculosis Day. It is observed on 24th of March annually and it is important to take into consideration the status of the globe as well as India. This day is observed to observe this the importance of the initiatives that have been undertaken by the world and different governments to tackle tuberculosis and raise the awareness that it is treatable and curable if proper drug regime is followed. So tuberculosis, World Tuberculosis Day of 2023, India and TB, what is India's TB elimination target and what is being done to try to achieve this target? Are there any improvements in treatment protocols and vaccination? We are going to talk all about that. So TB is basically caused by a bacterium called Mycobacterium tuberculosis. This belongs to the Mycobacteriaceae family which consists of about 200 members. It commonly affects the lungs that is the pulmonary TB in adults. It can also affect the other organs such as extra, these are the, those TBs known as extra pulmonary TB. It is a very ancient disease that has been documented since Egyptian times as early as 3000 BC. It is treatable as well as curable. Moving on. It is spread from one person to the another person through the air. When the people with lung TB, they cough, sneeze or spit, they propel the TB germs into the air. Symptoms include the lungs one, cough with sputum and blood at times, chest pain and weakness, weight loss as well as fever and night sweats. So the theme for the World Tuberculosis Day 2023 is yes, we can end TB. Okay. And the consideration of different facts are such for this day. 74 million lives have been saved since 2000 by global efforts to end TB. 10.6 million people fell ill with TB in 2021 and 1.6 million people unfortunately died of TB in 2021. World Tuberculosis Day as I told you is celebrated or observed on March 24th every year. In order to raise awareness about the global epidemic of tuberculosis and the efforts to tackle it, the WHO has aimed to end TB epidemic by 2030. Remember that preliminary fact. It is being celebrated since the year 1982 to commemorate this is the date, 24th March is the date, when Dr. Robert Koch announced his discovery of the tuberculosis bacteria in 1882. In 1982, the International Union Against Tuberculosis and lung disease and the World Health Organization established the World TB Day. Now, India is tackling with TB through many initiatives. For 2023, the Prime Minister attended one World TB Summit and many initiatives were launched to help the country meet the 2025 target because we want to end TB by 2025. India continues to be the largest contributor to global TB cases, but there has been a decline in the number of cases in 2021 Reporting of TB cases has also improved and the incidence of TB, that is, the new cases which are detected throughout the year has reduced by 18% in 2021 over the 2015 baseline. A prelims question can be formulated that India has reported in, an increase in the new incidence of TB. No, a decrease has been registered. It has dropped to 210 cases per lakh population as compared to 256 cases per lakh population. Now the incidence of drug resistant TB that is the TB which is, which is unable to be cured by normal drugs because the bacteria is now resistant to drug. It also went down by 20% during the period from 1.49 lakh cases in 2015 to 1.19 lakh in 2021. India, uh, India accounts for 28% of all the TB cases in the world, very good preliminary fact. There were 21.3 lakh cases which were detected in 2021 if you compare it to the 18.05 lakh in 2020. A survey conducted across 20 states has pegged the incidence new cases of uh, at a higher 312 case per lakh population. Now India wants to eliminate TB by 2025. The elimination of it is one of the sustainable goal targets of uh, to be achieved by 2030 if the consideration of the world. The National Strategic Plan 2017 to 2025 has set the target of India reporting no more than 44 new TB cases or 65 total cases per lakh population by 2025 
and the estimated TB incident for the year 2021 it's to that 210 cases per lakh population. Achieving this target is of course going to be a big task but a plan has been in envisaged an incidence of only 77 cases per lakh population by 2023. So it is important that you note it down. The program also aims to reduce the mortality to 3 deaths per lakh population. This is to be achieved by 2025 and the estimated TB mortality for the year 2020 stood at 37 per lakh population which is still less. The plan is aiming to reduce catastrophic costs for the affected family to zero. And however, the report states that 7 to, 2, 7 to 32 percent of those with drug sensitive TB are there. 68 percent with drug resistant TB experience catastrophic cost out of pocket expenses. The goal is in line with the WHO's goal to have 80 percent reduction in the number of new cases, 90 percent reduction in mortality and zero catastrophic cost by 2030. Let's see if India would be able to achieve it because we are now looking at the initiatives that have been undertaken by India. Looking for cases actively among vulnerable and comorbid population is one of the early stages India is going through. Screening it uh, at the different health centers, calling on the private sector to collaborate in this manner and an online Nikshay portal has been set up to track the notified TB cases in order to keep a track record. The pandemic has led to improved access to more accurate molecular diagnostic tests like CBNAT and TORNAT. These were used to test for COVID-19 as well. Now at present there are 4760 molecular diagnostic machines which are available covering all districts of the country. In addition to that, 79 line probe assay laboratories and 96 liquid culture testing laboratories have been set up for the diagnosis for multi and extremely drug resistant TB. Now what are the drugs as it is curable and treatable? Let's talk about drugs and vaccines. Newer drugs such as Vidacoline and Delaminage for the treatment of drug resistant TB have been introduced and these are oral in nature can be taken by oral means and they can replace the injectable canamycin. It was associated with serious effects to the kidney. New national list of essential medicines these two drugs have been added. And this will give the government the power to regulate their market and giving them free of cost. It is already being given free of cost. Now let's talk about vaccination. The BCG vaccine uses a weakened form of TB bacteria to train, train the immune system. But it cannot, it, it can just protect against severe form of TB like the ones in the brain. For lungs it is not very feasible. Okay. It doesn't prevent people from getting the infection or reactivation of a latent infection. An infection which has been cured for now, but it could be latent in nature, BCG vaccine cannot tackle that. So we are looking at immune Immuvac, which is uh, right now in the trial stages. It was initially developed to prevent leprosy in preventing TB, now it is being used. It is developed using Mycobacterium indicus prani. It has antigens, the portion of a pathogen against which the antibodies are developed. Similar to those of leprosy and TB bacteria, that is why it is usable. Another vaccine is VPM1002. It is a recombinant form of the BCG vaccine, which is modified to express the TB antigen better. It results in better training of the immune system to protect against TB and existing BCG vaccine booster is also considered. So, all this was about tuberculosis and the World Tuberculosis Day. Thank you so much for watching and stay updated.